going to preface what I say here just because uh, I feel it's necessary. Back in the day, we, we had Republicans, we had Democrats, and then there were certain people who identified as individual. We still have this today, or independent. Uh, we still have this today. But I think what is starting to happen, and I think it's a good thing, um, I despise rhino Republicans, and I despise pretty much the complete Democrat Party. And I wouldn't have said that years ago because I think there were a lot of decent Democrats, and I still think there are decent Democrats that identify as Democrats today because they haven't quite caught on to everything that that party is doing. But that party is a freaking disaster. Back in the day, I truly believe there were Democrats that wanted to do right by, by veterans and the military. Today, they have proven the veterans' interests aren't, aren't in their best. The veterans' well-being is not in their best interest, okay? Because veterans aren't voters generally for Democrats. And uh, why do I say this? And why do I get just, it gets under my skin because the way I look at it, the Democrats that might be involved for some veteran welfare outreach are guys who look at veterans as rubes. Uh, these poor guys who can't take care of themselves and they're not that smart and uh, they, need, they need their help and they can go and virtue signal and they can go and show that they've done this and they volunteered for that and they look really good. But let's look at the record for Democrats, okay? When the wars kicked off in Afghanistan and Iraq, you had John Murtha bringing veterans under charges for murder coming back from war. You, you had Democrats using veterans as an excuse that they were going over there with vehicles that weren't up armored. So what did they do? They up armored all the vehicles and made them slow and dangerous, getting more veterans killed. Slow, heavy, and dangerous, right? And then you had the Barack Obama administration where the only way that they could agree to cut funding for anything was to cut funding for the military in sequestration. So that's what got cut. Everything else, they ramped up the spending, but the only way to try to control spending was spending for the military. Then you had the pre-Donald Trump VA, which I think everybody understands was an absolute disaster an absolute disaster where it came out that you had government employees, primarily liberal government employees, that were stating they were seeing veterans when they weren't. So they would go on a list and then they would say, we saw these veterans here and those veterans were still waiting to, to come in and get care. And they were putting themselves in for bonus. I'm talking about the federal workers. They'd put themselves in for bonuses while you had veterans committing suicide, waiting to see either mental health professionals or even just going to see a doctor at the VA. The care was subpar. Uh, we had here at Fort McCoy, the, at the VA down there, uh, we had a dentist who exposed something to, to the effect of roughly 600 veterans to HIV because the individual wasn't sanitizing his tools correctly. And it just really, really irks me because anytime I think of Democrats trying to do something for, for veterans, it's all, it's all based off of emotion instead of substance. So when I see Democrats getting involved, if you look at the platform of the Democrat Party, and even if you look at what happened a couple weeks ago with this Axios story, where they're out there running around using a false story that has been proven false at this stage, uh, you have almost 30 people that came out that were there that said this did not happen, and these anonymous sources that are out there that created, created this story, and then you see that the newspaper is owned by uh, Steve Jobs' widow, who is one of Biden's largest campaign contributors, and she revamped that failing newspaper, and they just put out bogus stories. This is what it is. It's a hit job. 
uh, we're going to get more of that and you're going to see the obstruction that comes up here when it has to do with replacing Ruth Bader Ginsburg for the Supreme Court. You're going to see the complete meltdown and the teardown of our country because they don't get their way. But anything that comes to do with, de with, with Democrats and veterans, it just irks the hell out of me to to see them get involved in these organizations or even be included in these organizations. They're not bringing anything to the table except they're buffeting their resume and they can maybe feel good about themselves that they're helping the, uh, the, the poor rubes who signed up to go and be in the military that aren't that bright. And um, it, it just really, it makes, me, it makes me ponder. There's a million things that we could talk about that they've done. Uh, that have not benefited the military or veterans in the military or existing military service members. We don't want your help. I don't want your help. I don't think the majority of veterans want Democrat help. Uh, we've seen, you've told us who you are. You've shown through your actions what you do. And what you've done is not do anything for the veterans.